does your train traffic back up like this on your city's maps <laughs> oh look at it it is absolutely horrendous oh today we're gonna finally fix it up and i'm sure there'll be lots of tips available to help you sort your train traffic as well welcome back to the next episode of city skylines with me biffa here in new zealand and today is finally the day where we're going to sort out our train traffic just look at it it is red absolutely everywhere and it's got to the point now where i was losing money in my city well i'm certainly not making as much as i was i had oh was it like three million uh credits simoleons tea leaves whatever they're called and we're down to two hundred thousand after a small building session so we really 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 need to sort this out so how are we going to do it? Well, the first thing I'm going to do is take a look at a map of the city to help me to make some good decisions. And the way I'm going to do that is use this mod called CSL Map View Exporter. And it takes uh, a save game of your city, the most recent one, and turns it into a map file. As you can see, these are the settings I use. You can manually export if you want to do one or just save the game. And then look in the folder that's listed down here and these are where your map files will be. Let's take a look at the map of New Zealand. Okay, here we go. This is the overview of New Zealand that the map view mod gives to you. And as you can see, you can zoom in and out. You can scroll around. Here's the new area we've built in the last episode oh, oh it goes a bit slow when you zoom in there we go excellent and you can see all the different routes that we've got all over our city for all the different mass transit options so i want to make this map a little bit easier to see and to work with so i'm going to go to my view options uh, visibility and i'm going to turn off forest there we go just to clean things up a bit and then i'm also going to go into my settings and under public transport route i'm going to turn off all of the lines and once we click ok that will tidy things up nicely and train lines as you can see if we zoom in over this side are shown as these black and white striped lines so we can easily see what goes where so what i would then do is save this image and open it up in your favorite image editor and i would do something like this there we go i use paint.net other image editors are available of course and i'm going to go through here and mark on the map where all of my cargo train stations are and where all of my passenger train stations are to give us a good idea of what we need to do to fix our train problem okay so here is the map before i made any changes and here is the map after i've made the changes so now we can see all the different stations that we've got and you know what doing this has made me realize this is probably not going to be as big a job as i thought it was going to be before i've been putting this off like nobody's business <laughs> but you know that's just the way it goes and a couple of things have sort of jumped out at me a lot of cargo stations right near each other here i think we might make a little bit of a change over there um two passenger stations here are they both needed i mean that's the way we've built the area so i'm not going to change it but something worth keeping in mind for the future this area does well with just one so as we move up here we might add one more on that island uh one more on this island and see how that goes yeah nice little islands up there to expand to we've got two close to each other here uh one is yeah that is just trains and that is the boats as well so we might consolidate those two but apart from that, it's not too bad. So the plan is, is to rip out the lines, or I might not rip out all the lines, but to put a line for cargo and then a line for passengers separately. I am wondering whether, hmm, that was my engaging Biffa's brain noise, is we don't have a lot of these passenger stations set to allow trains from outside the city, intercity trains. We only have, if I remember correctly, this one here, maybe one of these i think this one if i remember correctly so i don't think there's a huge need for setting a separate line for external trains coming in if we did need to do it 
there's not enough room <laughs> so we probably won't okay right so that's what we've got let's jump back into the game and see how we can put this into action so i'm trying to decide the best way to go about doing this and of course we have our train lines that we can add there we go let's just draw that over here but we have a fantastic tool that is part of the network multi-tool and that is the create parallel mode so if we select that end and that end and then it will put in whatever what the last network was that we selected which in this case was the train line and then we've got all those adjustments you can see on the screen you can make it uh, move it around like that you can go up you can go down you can switch sides like that that's the tab key which is also set to my camera key that's why the camera looked weird and then press enter and it will add that in automatically for you which is going to be absolutely fantastic the only downside is is if I do that on huge swathes of track, we could be destroying other things. How would that work, for instance, with a bit that went from bridge to flat? Let's do a quick test. We'll go from there, say, to here. So we've got bridge and flat connected. And you know what? That is pretty clever. It's automatically changed it from bridge mode to normal mode. Uh, if I switch that to the other side... Yeah, I need to change my tab key. <laughs> Hang on one second. Okay, I've changed that to a non-conflicting key. Yeah, so we can get whole sections of this. Like, if it was up to here, for instance, and we'll say, no, that's on the wrong side. Switch that over to the other side. It's going to mean a bit of adjusting of things. But if we can literally go through and double up all of our lines this easily. I want to see how it does tunnel, bridge, and back to normal. Um... Let's just go all the way down to here. So on that side, let's just let's just do it with this section here. So that'd be quite close to the road, but that's fine. Looks like it's going to go to a tunnel. Looks like it's going to go to a bridge. Okay, let's just do that one. Enter. Okay, let's just check it out. So yeah, that has stayed in like a bridge section along here because of that bridge section. And that hasn't really done a tunnel section. Okay. <laughs> yes. So we might have to then just go back through. Let's just change this section, for instance. Oh, yeah, there we go. Okay, so not too difficult to fix. And then to get it back onto the ground, of course, uh, we select this one. And we just go along like that. Yeah, so it's going to need some extra work. So maybe... Yeah, that's a bit annoying, isn't it? That needs to be bridge. It's a shame it doesn't... Oh, that was close. That was close. Shame it doesn't 100% mirror the state of the last one. And then, for instance, like on here, we then need to come along and just move this out. Ooh, humpy, jumpy, bumpy. There we go. Yeah, something like that would be okay, wouldn't it? But other than that, that's okay. Well, let me play around with this for a couple of minutes in case I'm missing a setting somewhere. And then we'll see if we can dive in to get in all of this working. Well, I put a message on Sergi's Discord uh, to see whether anybody there has an idea of what's going on. But uh, this is another test that I want to do, is whether if I do this one here, it's going to connect to that one there. Now, this one is a bridge all the way along. Oh, it's a slightly different one there. Okay, well, let's do a test with this. And I want to go all the way down to mm, here, here. And I'll tell you why, because here we're going to have to switch over to the other side. So we're going to have to do a bit of manual changing. Uh, let's have a look. Yeah, that doesn't seem to be changing that bit. Okay, let's do enter and see what happens. No, it doesn't connect those two up like that. Okay, but that's not the end of the world. Uh, let's select that piece. And let's just connect those together. So that's an easy fix. And then along here, ah, it hasn't taken them as bridge sections oh dear i seem to have created a dam <laughs> which is then possibly going to uh yeah flood our city we haven't done that for a while have we right let me just remove all of this and that was interesting because i did actually select it from a segment here that was raised so that one to there it looks like it's above the ground and then it does the ground piece. So I'm wondering whether we just need to use one of the options instead. Let's try that again. So we'll go from there. I'm just going to do a little section this time. Yeah, so don't let your... Ah, oh, look, we can see there's the ground part on there. Is that to do with this, I wonder? It is. There we go. Look, we change that to normal. And it's 
not mirroring it entirely. Can I go all the way along again? Let's go all the way up to here. Yeah, there we go. It's put those as a bridge with that sort of piece on like that. Let's do enter. Okay, so we're learning things. If we come along here, yeah, this has got like the bridge piece on, which is not the end of the world. That's fine. Um, has it not put any legs underneath? I don't think it has. These pillars. No, we need to add those in. Hang on. Let's go into my other camera view and zoom down and check. Zippity doo dah underneath. Yeah, there's no pillars on this. So we need to go through and do those. But apart from that, we are getting there. So what would I do just to change these? Yeah, so if I just upgrade these to the raised pieces, darn it. What did I just delete there? Oh, I need to be careful here. I'm not going to... So that one had them in. Yeah, what is that? Oh, it's just some rocks and things on the side. Okay, we can fix that by turning off that. There we go. Excellent. So I'll need a little bit of tidying up for any trees that are poking through or anything. But that is looking okay. And then, for instance, a section like this where it's just going to go on the wrong side is... I would perhaps then say from here to let's go down to here i'm gonna switch sides like that let's put that back onto that mode how's that looking yeah that's okay and then here we just need to do a little manual jiggery pokery to get these to line up again yeah that's okay isn't it that sweeps around there that comes down here uh, yeah, we left that on, didn't we? So we've got trees on the track. I'll come back and sort that out. And then I'm just wondering how this is going to work over here. I bet this isn't going to do what we think. Ooh, let's see. So we want to go from there. Let's just do a short section like that. No, we have to go via that one. Yeah, and I want that on the other side. Let's have a look. Yeah, that's not going to work on the road, is it? That's not connected properly. That's just drawn over the top. Okay, well, we've learned something else there, so I can just fix that myself. Wow, we are losing money. Good grief. This is something we need to sort out super, super quick. And the downside, or the upside, I should say, of using the network multi-tool this way, it still costs you money to place these things. When this mod first came out, it was free. Uh, I would rather it cost me money because, to me, that's part of the game. Um, so, yeah, I need to try and make sure we can get this done without bankrupting the city. Why did I leave this so late to do? Oh, I should have done this ages ago. So, yes, I've just had a reply back from Sergey, and I think this problem that we had over here was down to me having the tool set up incorrectly. So let me just delete these through here. So we've got a bridge part, we've got a flat part, and we'll just do another test. <laughs> Spending more money that we haven't got. Let me just run the game for a few minutes. To help speed things up, I'm going to go for the old tax trick. So everything was on 12%. I'm going to put this up to maximum, and then we're going to run the game for a few seconds, get a load of money in, and then as soon as people stop joining the city or start leaving in their droves because of the ridiculously high tax rates... Then we'll drop it back down again. Sorry, everybody. It's for the benefit of New Zealand. It'll all be good when it's done. Oh, I feel terrible. Okay, I think that's enough. We've got up to like a million or something like that. So I put these back down to 12% again. 13, 12. Blah, 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 blah. There we go. And then we can do this test here again. So we'll go from here to over there excellent it's on the correct side this is set to the correct mode press enter and let's take a look so this one has gone to raise that one's raised that hasn't done a bridge nope Okay, just had a chat with Mitsurgi, and the way it does this, where it doesn't quite copy the tunnel, is to do with the way the vanilla game works and the height that it needs to make a tunnel and that sort of thing. I've made the suggestion that could you have a force option where it is forced to copy the style of network, whether it's a bridge, a tunnel, or a flat piece like we see over here. Um, instead of using the vanilla game limitations, I suppose, or the way the vanilla game has been made. And uh, yeah he will take a look at that and uh, maybe consider that so even without this being an option in the game having the option to place 
parallel all of these rails like this is going to save so much time um, i'm just wondering whether this bit up here i am going to leave so what i might just do over here is just connect these two together so yeah thank you very much for the tool i i just can't complain it is absolutely brilliant i'm going to put that in there like that so it can split off into both sides yep that's fine and then if ever we build up here we can switch that around so let's continue down here so what i might just do is uh, fix this first of all okay there we go all sorted so what i'm going to do is let my city run for a while get some money in and then i think i'm just going to upgrade one island at a time and uh, yeah take it a piece at a time so it doesn't become too much of a huge big overwhelming problem so i will be back with you and one more little piece of advice when doing this so let's parallel this here all the way down to here yeah that's the right side and then we get this little bit here where the two nodes aren't connected together i've made the suggestion to add that as a forced option as well if one network meets another network of the same type but we have the union nodes mode in here. So we can select a source node. This becomes a bit difficult when you've got other nodes nearby. Let's have to zoom out a bit. I had it there for a minute. Hang on, hang on. There we go. We've got that one and we want it to go to that one and it does it automatically. So, yeah, that's a little bit easier than drawing in the new tracks again. Right, let me finish off uh, this part of the island. I'm thinking as we cross across here, because we don't have, if we just double check our map again, we've only got passenger train stations along here. Uh, if we go into this view. So we've got uh, this one here this one here and this one here so i'm not sure that having double lines along here is necessarily needed mm, let's just check out this station here so that's got a bypass now let's just come down here pretty sure that one's got a bypass which is good and this one doesn't have a bypass over here but that might not be too much of a problem so i might just leave this section down here and connect this up and yeah we'll keep this as double down here for when we do add some more cargo later on okay so that is this section down here taken care of and we know that as we get to the end here we've got fisherman's island so this does have a cargo rail that comes out here and goes underground and joins the main rail coming in so if we go to the edge of the city uh, a few episodes ago we set up this internal and external route which is absolutely rammed with people. Yeah, we'll cover that another day. So I'm thinking we're going to double this one along here. There's a lot of room to the right-hand side, which would be good, actually. We can copy that all the way to the end. Oh, we might lose a few rocks along the way, but I think they're willing. Um, if we go from here, and we're going to go all the way along, all the way along. I'm just checking this rock. I'll tell you what, I'll tell you what we're going to do. Oh, auto save, quick sip of tea. Ooh. because of our alien rock overlords we are going to do a little bit of thinking ahead here and we're going to just move these rocks out the way so is that one there that one there oh that looks like a big one uh these are okay and we're going to go all the way up to this section here oh won't let me do it for some reason uh, is it because we've gone past a couple of junctions yeah so if i get that one then i can get that one then i can get that one um yeah we'll go all the way to the end that should be okay let's just see yeah, there's plenty of room by the road and then how are we going to connect this up here probably just something like that so it can split out if it needs to then we can use our node controller on there or even just clicking it once has sort of sorted it out we can make that a little bit bigger that's probably okay bit of a crossover for in and out for both lines but yeah we'll go with that let's follow this along here yeah that's all okay apart from the odd tree cluster it's looking fine and then i want to get underneath here and i'm going to set that as a bridge and hopefully that will just force it and that will be okay yeah maybe not too bad if we just move that in a bit and move that one in a bit yeah that's okay we just need to connect these two up there we go fantastic and then we'll continue along here now this one goes out to be just cargo down here this one goes out underneath the sea into the island we've just done to be just passenger so we don't need to duplicate that one 
Although we do seem to have extra rails coming through here. Let's just... Actually, I'm not going to pause because we need the money. What have we got going on? So we've got... This splits off into two. See, this is where the game starts getting a bit complicated. And this one here... Goes out and continues up here on the right-hand side. Hooks in with that. Hooks up here... Yeah, I don't know how much of that we all want to change. I'm just wondering whether we could just slightly change this connection here. I might be making a big mistake here, but I'm actually going to make more connections than there was before. Yep, that's fine. And then this one here could connect to both. We're going to decide which one we're going to have as our cargo one. At the minute, this one's the cargo one on the right. So could that connect to there and then to here yeah there we go i've moved them apart so we can see what's going on so even though the cargo is this bottom rail here which this junction is connected to the passenger is the top rail but i need it to come over the top like this otherwise it's not going to get over there and we don't have room for like big flyover junctions and all that sort of stuff so i think maybe that is the way to go and like for instance here this doesn't connect to this one which it should do now because we're having this as our if you could just let me go straight that would be great we're having this as our passenger one. Oh man this is just going to be really awkward uh if we go there like that yeah that was never going to work <laughs> let me try something else okay so what's causing the brain fart for me here is that we've got this mass of rails that go in and out this whole area Oh, it doesn't make it any easier to see. So we've got this one up here, this one down there, and these all need to be separated. So we just need to take a look at this for a moment. So this is a cargo one that comes along here. And this is all connected up together, and then it splits up there, and it comes up here. So this one here needs to connect to our cargo, but this other one here, where does that go? It goes underneath and connects here. It comes over here. So this is going to be a passenger one. But then it could also have cargo on it as well. So I think this does just need to all connect together in one sort of big mess. And hope that it works. Uh, like that. So now you can get onto any rail that you want. I'm going to use this. Uh, let's do this one first. Yeah, that sort of messed that up, isn't it? Um, if I go a little bit bigger on there and then do this one. And go a little bit bigger on there. Yeah, we can sort of see what's going on. Oh man, this is going to be the death of me, I tell you. Right, I've had a slight change of heart. As this one here only needs to connect to the passenger, I'm going up and over the top. I need to smooth this out a bit, don't worry about that. So it can connect to the top passenger rail only. Uh, this one here is the cargo one, uh, which can connect to... I just want that to come up a bit more level here like oh, stop connecting to the nodes that is going to connect to cargo only uh, like that and then this other one here is the one that goes through under here round here to be passenger although this once we get around this side uh, looking at my map again is going to have cargo once we get up round over here so i'm not quite sure what we're going to do about that but, yeah, I think this is definitely going to work better. I'm just wondering how we're going to get this. I think this one is going to have to go underground. Oh, tunnels. Here we go. If it's getting serious. So that's going to have to go underneath to join to the passenger rail on the top. Yeah, okay. We're going to have a lot of tidying to do once this is all done, but it's going to look it's going to look lovely, I assure you. And there we go. I've done the same on this line coming up here. So that only needs to connect to the outside passenger line, although this has got cargo on it. Where are you going? Oh yeah, okay. Yeah, we'll get to that in a minute because cargo needs to come up that line over there. All right. So, oh, jumpy jumpy so this one only connects to the top passenger line and this one only connects to the top passenger line this line here which is cargo only connects to the bottom cargo line and then all of these lines in here go into this station these two stations and i thought there was another one that's it 
all come out on this line but they also go up here so we're gonna have to sort of think about what we're gonna do over here as well oh my life my brain right to try and wrap my brain around it i'm gonna come back to this sort of spaghetti here and follow this main line that goes out we're gonna say from this little pond onwards because there's trains that go into our passenger section there is that a cargo train it looks like a cargo train to me yes now where has that come from a freight train uh oh we can see where it's going can't see where it's come from very handy um so if we follow this along this way what have we got along here so it's all straight along all straight along no other sections and then we've got this passenger train station here and then if we follow that around, it goes under the mountain and comes out there. Yep, that's the one. Yep, goes under the mountain, comes out there. And there's no cargo, no cargo. Here we have a cargo, but here we have it split off into two. So actually there's a bypass there. And this bit doesn't get too busy. So I think we'll leave this section... There's the cargo, and he's going around the outside instead of going through the middle. Why are you doing that? That is rather annoying. Can we change that with some speed on here? So it looks like the internal is 20. Or is that? Oh, that's the road underneath. These are the four rails, aren't they? Um, Let's make the outside rail... Uh, let's slow it down. 50. There we go. So any cargo trains that come along or anybody that's bypassing should take the middle. Let's just hang on a sec. Okay, well, I've waited around for ages for a cargo train to come along and nothing's coming. But I'm pretty sure that will solve the problem. And then we've got this bypass for this cargo station here, which is fine. And then if we go along here, what have we got? So this splits off down here for passenger only and then continues on down here. So that's okay. Then we get to a busier section so let's just put it this way round so we've got a nice big bypass for this cargo one that goes on and they can carry on down here which they're doing we've got this bypass down here for this cargo section which is fine and then the passenger goes through so actually that should never get that busy these lines here are nice and long between the junctions so plenty of space for the trains to keep moving don't know why you're going so slow there that might be to do with too many nodes near to each other no i think you're okay right and then if we continue along down this way so again they're all sharing the same line what is this one going to do he is going to take the bypass which is good although annoyingly the bypass crosses over the track but then if you were coming the other way, it wouldn't cross over the track, would it? No, that's fine. Yeah, I was just wondering, and the yellow line doesn't have any stops in here, which seems a bit silly as it's going past in this direction. So let's add a stop there for you and move you into there as well. There we go. And then it should only be the cargo trains that go past here. Excellent. Okay. So then we follow this along down here. Everybody's coexisting happily. And then this goes out. So that's fine this comes back around here and this is a passenger line that isn't even connected up yet it was on our map but that's okay then we'll follow this around now we're getting down to where we're the busiest so let's split off this way so this one here swings back round and connects to this big mess down here and it's got a nice little bypass off for the cargo which isn't actually that long so what i'm going to do is I'm going to pause this here and we're going to run a parallel line along here. So if we do it like this, it's going to run from there. Oh, that was close. That was close. Nope, we're fine. So it's going to run from there to here. Excellent. There we go. We'll move that out a bit, which I think is just plus, And we'll put that to ground mode. Excellent. Then we can connect that up. There we go. So much longer runoff coming down here and then i'm going to do the same the other way it actually goes underneath in a tunnel doesn't it i don't really want it going underneath in another tunnel that would seem an unnecessary expense so i think we'll just leave that one like that that's going to work a lot better 
So that brings us back round to this section here. So I am thinking of doubling up this main line that goes all the way through here. Because um, we've got this cargo connection that swings round. As you can see, cargo trains coming backwards and forwards. And this here gets super, super busy with this main train line. Even though we've got these sort of extra parts that go out. But there's a lot of passenger trains going down there. So I'm thinking if we maybe start it okay let's just pause the game uh, let's select our train line as our last network there we go and then we go into here do parallel so i want to go from here and i want to see how far is it going to let me go no you see once you get to a junction you need to select the junction and i want that the other side that's going to go down here and then we can go up to there Keep going down here. Yeah, I want it all the way along here. We've got the space. It's going to probably need a little bit of jiggery pokery, but I think we'll be okay. Uh, can't get up to that one. Is there another junction along there I've missed? I can do that one. I can do that one. Okay, let's go up to there. Up to there. Up to there. So let's do that. Um, let's put it on this mode. Yeah, see, that's going to put it all in the air, which is a bit annoying. If I do that mode, then when we get to our bridges, that's going to really mess up. I'll tell you what, let's do a quick autosave. <laughs> Have a quick sip of tea. Mm. And then I'm going to put that in, and then we can see we can fix up what that gives us. Still saving, still saving, still saving. Packaging, nearly done. Enter. Okay, it's in. So let's come from back here. So yeah, the, I tell you what, let's fix the rail first. There we go. Okay, I think that's all right with the rest of it. Um, just need to maybe look at... So that goes flat along now. I think that's just a road, isn't it? Yeah, if we move that road down a bit, like that, that can just go back to normal, can't it? So if we do that one, that one, and that one. Oh, we've got the building it's sticking right into. Um, okay. man that's so close uh can i move this over a bit i probably can't oh man i could probably gain a few millimeters there yep i think that'll be all right there's some room to get around there now then we've got our clusters of trees that love to cause problems path just about fits under oh no it doesn't fit under there at all <laughs> i don't even remember putting this path in underneath there and then having these rail lines go over the top uh let's see if we can fit this in a bit better i mean that's better isn't it and they can walk under there yeah excellent Okay, there we go. I think that is okay. And then what we want to do now is change this to connect onto here instead uh, to get a nice curve on there. Let's use this one. Quick connection mode. It's going to go from there to there. Come out that end. Come out that end. And I think that looks okay. Maybe we could just increase that a tiny bit there. Make it a bit more. There we go. Excellent. And then maybe just smooth this down. I'll tell you what we'll do. We'll use the node controller. Take that node and go slope. And then we'll take... Oh, there's a node there. Yeah, we don't need that node, do we? We're going to remove that node. Yeah, oh, that's better. There we go. Then we'll take that node. That's a middle node. I think that's okay. I just feel like this one needs to bend out a little bit. Yeah, anyway, there we go. So now all of this cargo stuff just connects there so that's going to continue all the way along there like we've done all the way up to this point and i'm wondering here whether to connect these two together because up here anyway we've got a bypass station that people don't want to use this is a bit annoying i don't know why but i've tried to change the speed on the bypass here but you can't look it's like i can only change that one and it does both 
So the AI in the game will not take this bypass through the middle. Um, I can probably show you that any second now. Is he going to stop? No. Anybody that's not going to stop anyway. I've just seen it. They won't go through. But it's not too much of an issue. So I do think we will just connect these two up at the end here. Okay, so that is this section done. We said we're not going to worry about this one that goes all the way through here. It doesn't get that busy. If in the future we find it is, then we can always add another rail over here, but I think that's okay. Right, let's follow this back along here. Boom, 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 boom. Hopefully this is all set up okay. I'll go back and check it off camera. So that's this line coming in. Now we've got this is the other major line coming in. And this is where it's got a bit all messy again. Um... Yeah, so I've just checked. So with this line that comes down through here is actually only connecting to this cargo station here. Then it goes back up there. So it's good that we've got the bypass, but there's nothing else at all that's going to come up here. We have no passenger train stations. Let me just double, double check that. Uh, this one here. Nope, that's it. Just that one there. So that can just connect to the cargo line. I'm just going to disconnect it from all of that so which one did we decide was our cargo line man this is taking all day and i've forgotten uh the bottom one is our cargo line so that comes through here that comes through here so actually that was probably connected to the correct one which is fine so maybe i'll just connect that back up again actually before i do that i want to check what else is going on here so we've got this one splits off as a bypass for this one. Yeah, look at all these. Because our trains were backed up. Loads of stuff's been dying off. But it's all coming back, folks. Don't worry. Um, so I'll tell you what we're going to do, just to make this easier, is I'm going to delete these connections here that we've got. Uh, that's okay, because that goes together. So we're going to make a little bit of space, and then we'll connect these up. There we go. Then they go back into one. Uh, this can connect on the bottom again like that so that's the only connection to the cargo that it needs and then we've got this little mess here so this line we've got connecting to our separate line there if they want to go anywhere else it's this bit here which is confusing me so this is a cargo line i need you to think about this my brain okay okay i'm getting it i'm getting it so this top one's our passenger line so where it swoops off in this direction this needs to go up and over the top and connect over there and i could probably do that with one of these tools again can't i so where do i want it to connect it's going to go up swoop down it's going to connect here so if i go like that we can sort of tidy that up a bit then connect this one, connect, create connection mode. We're going to go from there to, yep, this one. Yeah, so I think like that will be okay. We'll pop that in. Uh, this obviously needs to be a bridge section. So we're going to grab those nodes and we're going to make them the same height. That's control H, uh, the same height as that one. And that should, yeah, lift it up. We don't worry about the slope too much there. And then I'm just going to line these up. There we go. So that now sweeps over the top to join to our outside passenger line. If they want to go the other way, they can take this node here, which is looking all kinds of porky porkiness. Uh, let's grab... Is there a node under here? No. Let's add a node there. I'll tell you what, this, this tool has saved me so much trouble with doing all of this. I mean, I could have done it all by hand. You know, draw and effing it in one at a time. That's better, isn't it? But this has just been fantastic. Uh, we're going to go all the way to there. There we go. That's a bit better. Yeah, so that goes up over the top. If they want to go this way, it's through this tunnel, which then joins over here, which if we come back again, which then goes over the top and joins to the passenger line that way. Excellent. So that's that one. Oh, do love a good flyover. And then we've got this one here, which is disconnected. That is for our cargo area. So if they want to go this way, they can join there. And that joins to the cargo line here. If they want to go this way, that is going to come through here and join to our cargo line on the bottom over here. So let's do that. I'm 
hoping that's going to make that a tunnel. Yay, it did. Whoa. <laughs> that was slightly weird. I think we just need to lower this whole thing. There we go. So that now connects just to the cargo line in both directions as well. Boy. I tell you what, I hopefully I don't think we've missed anything. I'm just checking this one here. So that only goes in one direction each way. I think that's okay. Uh, this one doesn't need to be a double line. Uh, they go together over there. I think we're fine. I think this should now... Have I done it? Have I actually completed what I need to do? The only thing I might change is this set up in here. Is all a bit of a mess and i've sort of ended up with two train station cargo terminals here this one and this one which is a bit unnecessary but i think maybe that will be something we have a look at another time so what i think i need to do is to let this run while it's running i'm going to go through and just check all my lines are set up okay nothing's gone a bit hawky borky we haven't got any trees in the way and all that sort of stuff and then hopefully like weird slopes like this and then hopefully that is all okay so good grief i'm gonna go and put the kettle on and uh, yeah i will be back with you momentarily Well, do you know what? That actually ended up not being as bad a job as I thought it was going to be. I'm so glad I bit the bullet. Um, there's still a few places I need to go through and move, remove trees from the line and the odd uh, lamppost that's sticking up through. But overall, I'm pleased with how this has worked out. If you enjoyed this video, check out the next one on the screen here, which is my most viewed video ever with 2.4 million views and maybe subscribe as well before you go. Thanks for watching. Have a fantastic day. Take care. Bye-bye.